fast for 45 days. It all happened naturally. It wasn't like I was I was told not to uh, told to do it. Okay, we have a question. Yeah, uh, uh, Britta, I'll get to your question too. <laughs> Why are there so many women? <laughs> so um, you have to see what teaching, what teacher resonate with you. It sings the language of your heart. Can I it's easy. It's easy for you to do it. Can I say something? Uh, yeah, who's this? Kamla Marie. Anna Marie, hi. Kamla Marie. Yeah, hello, go ahead, I'm listening. Um, yeah, well, it's just when you talk about like, how do I find the right teacher? And for me, it, I feel it's been really important. Yeah, to really, um, feel it from inside, like what resonates with me. Uh, and, 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 and I, I it's, you know, it's more like an inside job instead of um, shopping around or, yeah, uh, for me it has been, but it's also because, I don't know, all of a sudden I meet, I meet someone I, I met this teacher, um, soul voice teacher, and it was um, at a time where I saw the light in, in this way of healing. And I'm, I also, I met you some years ago and it was sort of a, a calling, like, I don't know why I went to that event, but I just <laughs> felt I had to. Right. Like, like that. So it's, it's something that's just coming from, I don't know where, <laughs> spirit. <Right. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing. I mean, it is the spirit that leads us to places and we experience um, something puts these things together and take us to the right place. That's a part of it. Um, we will come across a specific teacher or teaching and you're with them, you feel the transmission and all of a sudden you just feel like something's really happening, something's really resonating with your heart. The words maybe, but normally it's beyond that. It's the energy, it's the presence, it's that transition transmission that happens between the two or that love that you feel in between because a lot of times it's beyond the words like you meet somebody you meet a man or a woman and why are we attracted to this person and they may not even be our type physically but something is really singing in your heart and saying yes and then you just sort of can't wait to see them again or talk to them again or hear their voice with the teachings for me i can only talk about myself because this is the only experience i've had my own direct experience with these beautiful awakened masters and I was, I was lucky to be with a number of them. But the Advaita Vedanta teachings, the teachings of silence was the one that attracted me the most. And among these teachers who were teaching it, Master Punjaji was the one that I felt more gravitated towards than anybody else. There were other teachers that I've come across. There are teachers that sometimes I check them out and listen to them and I very much enjoy. But I don't feel, of course, I don't have that 
feeling of of seeking anymore that disappeared of looking trying to find answers that has disappeared in a way it's a bummer because it was really fun being a seeker but that's gone but among these beautiful teachers that they taught the same line of teachings i like the vibe i like going to be with him and sit with him i like that energy field that is there and sitting in the field and drinking from that field and sometimes really fun because i don't have to do anything because in past 12 years i'm the one who has to set up the event so it's work and sometimes it's just fun to go to somebody else's satsang and sit there and drink drink the energy because i don't have to do anything i just go sit there and enjoy it so you just have to really tune in with yourself as our sister kamala just mentioned you need to tune in and see what really pulls you where where is it pulling you and is it resonating with your heart and then whether you're trusting this teacher you're trusting this teachings and if you're using the tools that they're giving you are you using it are you applying it to your everyday life and whether they work or not because i see i've seen teachers in pseudo spirituality there's a lot of tools they're giving you but they don't work they 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 give you no results you're just doing this and that da, 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 but nothing happens is this teacher with what's teaching you and the tools giving you does it bring you to inner peace are you finding ways to be balanced because yes no teaching is has any effect or value if the teachings is not directing you to balance what good does it do okay i'm done 12 days of sham shamanic healing work and ayahuasca in colombia or in peru or with brazilians and i did 11 days of this and 30 days of temescal and blah 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 but i'm emotional mess i'm up and down all the time i get extremely jealous i get extremely sad i want to kill i i'm laughing i'm loving and then i hate everyone so what does this all this work done for you you're not balanced you have to become balanced and steady and come to a place that you have conquered emotional ups and downs if you haven't conquered that and a simple news can trigger you and bring you to a place that you want to kill or commit suicide then where are you what have you done how advanced have you become 